What's up guys, it's Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your keyboard is not working in Windows 10 or in any Windows version for that matter. So before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that this was a viewer's request and if you guys encounter any software related problems, you can just comment down below on this video or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. Now first thing that we need to do is open up a virtual keyboard so that we can actually work on the computer so for that just go to windows search and then go to settings and then once you open up settings go to ease of access after you open up ease of access just use the virtual keyboard in the ease of access and it should open up now you can go to windows search again and then type in device manager once the device manager opens just select the keyboard from the keyboard section that is the keyboard you want to diagnose for me it is the lenovo keyboard device then just right click on it and then go to uninstall device and if it asks you to delete the driver software permanently from this device then just uncheck that button and then click on uninstall after you uninstall this device then go to the actions tab in device manager and then click on scan for hardware changes then your keyboard should appear back in the device manager now Again right click on your keyboard and then this time go to update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. Once that process finishes, just restart your computer to check if it fixed your problem. If it did not fix your problem then again come to device manager and then to the keyboard that you want to diagnose. Then right click on it, go to its properties and then under the driver section just click on disable device option. If this option is grayed out for you as it is for me, then no problem, you can just skip this step. But if you have it, then just disable it. Then again go to the keyboard and then this time enable the device. Now once you're finished with that, then we move on to the next step that is again going to the keyboard in the device manager that we want to fix and then right clicking on it and then go to update driver and this time select browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer then just select the model of your keyboard it will usually be the first option that you see and then just click on next and after the process finishes restart your computer to check whether it fixed your problem if it still did not fix your problem what you can do alternatively is manually download your keyboard's drivers from your manufacturer's website so for example if i have a keyboard from lenovo then I can just go to Lenovo's website and then download their keyboard drivers and then install them. And this process is very easy. You just have to follow the steps displayed on your screen to install them. And once they are installed, just restart your PC to check whether it fixed your problem. Now we move on to the next solutions. So the second solution is going to Windows search and then going to Windows settings. Once you open up Windows settings, open up ease of access column. In the ease of access, under the filter keys, toggle the filter keys on and off. So if you have the filter keys as on, just turn them off. And if you have them turned off, then just turn them on. After that, restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now, the next step that we're going to do is open up the registry editor. So just go to your Windows search and then search for run. Once you open up run, then just type in regigit. And once the registry editor opens, then navigate to H key local machine, then system, then current control set, and then services. In the services column, I mean the services folder, just scroll down until you find an option for I8042PRT. Just select it and on the right hand side, you will find a file known as start. Just double click on it and then set its value to 1, then click on OK, restart the PC to save your changes and check whether your problem is fixed or not. The next step is to again go to Windows search and then search for task scheduler. Once you open up the task scheduler, then go to its library, then Microsoft, then Windows, then text services framework and then just enable this task and then hit run moreover if it is already enabled then just click on restart and then restart your pc to check whether it fixed your problem next step is again going to run 
through the Windows search option and then in run type in the following command I'll link this command down in the description below for you to check out if that did not fix your problem then we move on to the final 2-3 steps for this problem so firstly just go to your task manager and you can do that by right clicking on your task bar and then going to task manager then under the processes find Cortana and then end task if that did not fix the problem then we move on to troubleshooting the keyboard option so just click on the windows icon in the taskbar and then choose settings once you open up the windows settings search for fix keyboard then click on find and fix keyboard problems this will open up a troubleshooter and just follow the steps displayed on your screen until you complete the troubleshooting option after that restart your pc to check whether it fixed your problem the last step that we can do is we can head over to control panel and in control panel we go to hardware and sound then open up the power options menu then click on choose what the power buttons do which is located in the left pane here you should see options to change the way your computer boots up to be able to modify these settings you need to click on the change settings that are currently unavailable option simply make sure that turn on fast setup is unchecked then click save changes button and restart your device to check whether your keyboard is working or not so this is it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if this video did not fix your problem then what you can do is just comment down below or email us and we can try to make a dedicated video solution for you guys otherwise if this video helped you then just like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video until then bye